may have your seat in God's presence. Father, we thank you. We lift your name and we give you praise. Thank you for revealing yourself in our life today. And giving us tremendous testimonies today. We shall testify in your name and we shall confess. That surely the Lord has come through for us. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Can I see your Bible lifted up? Can I see people who faith? Can I see true Christian? Through Christians. Even if your Bible is old like mine. But I have a Bible. Don't fear. Just lift your Bible. I think I have more Christian today. Come on. Thank God. Thank, God. Thank you Lord. It's good. Let's open our Bible in the book of Psalm 105. Psalm 105. From verse 16, shall we stand to read the word of God? Verse 16. One, two, three, let's go. He called down famine on the land and destroyed all their supplies of food. He sent a man before them, Joseph. Say Joseph. Joseph. Sold as a slave. Mm -hmm. They bruised his feet with shackles. His neck was put in irons. Mm. Till what he foretold came to pass, till the word of the Lord proved him true. Say, so proved him true. Proved him true. Mm -hmm. The king sat and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. Mm. He made him master over his household, ruler over all he possessed. Are there people who are going to possess things today? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. to, instruct to instruct his, his princes as he, as he please, please and teach his elders wisdom. <laughs> a young boy teaching elders wisdom. May God give you a testimony at the end of this service. May God give you a testimony by the end of this service. Are you ready today? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may have your seat in God's presence. Leo Jo Leo. Leo Ndo Leo. Amen. You all know the story of Joseph. The famine that hits the place where they were. I think I, I prophesied about the famine coming. And I know you are doing something. I wonder after such prophecies people will still want to wait until it happens so they can start <laughs> uh, I don't know if you know the Bible say this man Joseph had a family and he was a dreamer but his dream was fought because simply his dreams were speaking about the future. The man was able to dream and to see his future. His dream was able to take him in the future. Okay. Yes, sir. So through the dream he was able to fly to the future and see the future and then coming back in the flesh and seeing his present. Praise the Lord. Amen. So he saw a dream concerning his future. While he was asleep. 
wakati alikuwa amelala not once not twice sio mara moja sio mara mbili and the dream was speaking about him to rule not just over his family but to rule to rule over the possessions and ndoto yake ikamfanya akawa tamalaki katika maisha yake na maisha ya familia yake god showed him clearly what is about to take place concerning his life akamuonyesha kabisa kwa usafi kile kitabu and my prayer today that any dream that you dreamt of yourself na ile ndoto ulikuwa driving the best car kiendesha gari nzuri getting married to the best marriage kiolewa na jamaa mzuri traveling in a private jet kiwa katikati ya raya kinafsi holding serious money kiwa na pesa zako any za kind of dream that you ever had that was proclaiming your future by the end of this service you shall receive it baada ya ibada hii utaipata I'm looking for people who are faith. Natafuta watu walio na imani. I say by the end of this service we reactivate that dream. Nasema mwisho ibada hii utaipata. By the prophetic action we reactivate that dream. Kwa sababu ya unabii utaipata. I decree and declare let that dream be reactivated. Ndoto iwe. Let that dream be reactivated. So there are dreams. Listen. Some of you you believe so much the day you dream someone is dead you will call someone and you say you are see you dead Wengine mnaamini ndoto mbaya mbaya za kifo And you believe that your dream will come to pass Na unaamini kwamba huyo umeona kufa But God shows you about money Akikuonyesha kuhusu pesa Your faith is not there Unasema hapana imani yangu kwa pesa hapana So you believe so much when you see a demon in your dream Unaamini mapepo mno and when god shows you the kind of life you are going to live kushinda vile mungu amekuonyesha maisha utakayo and i hear people say i dreamt and it came to pass and whatever that comes to pass is always evil always bad kile kinatendeka ni kibaya how come the evil dream comes so fast and the good dream takes so much time kwa nini mabaya yatendeka lakini mazuri yanaenda any injustice today must be broken leo lazima hiyo itaondoka any injustice today must be broken kila kutoa kileo itatoka nice dream is taking too long ndoto nzuri zinachukua muda until even when you are almost dying that's the dream is almost happening sasa zile umezeeka unakupandia inakutendekea but bad dreams lakini ndoto mbaya imagine it doesn't take them two months a miezi mbili hapana it doesn't take one month hata miezi pa it happened pa nikiota inatendeka kesho ndoto mbaya nini kibaya Now we are going to reactivate the right dream to start manifesting. The prophetic dream concerning your destiny. Prophetic dream concerning your money. Prophetic dream concerning your businesses. I see someone you dream that you are signing contracts of billions. And I demand by the prophetic action of the Holy Ghost. Let it come to pass. Let it come to pass. Let it come to pass. Am I speaking to you? Yes. I say let it come to pass. Let it come to pass. I decree and declare. In the next three weeks, in the next two months, in the next four months, let whatever you dream concerning your finances, concerning your business, concerning your marriage, concerning your children, let it come to pass. Let it come to pass. Let it come to pass. is able to take you back in that dream and change things in the dream. Mungu anaweza akakurudisha kwa ndoto mbaya akabadilisha mambo yalikuwa mabaya. Oh the so you na casket. Wakakuona kwa jeneza. I will take you back in the dream and I change and I put another person which is your enemy in the casket and I pull you out. Narudi kwa jeneza tumweke shetani mwenyewe. Because the realm of the spirit can be changed. Things can be changed. Kwa mambo yanaweza kubadilika. Because if someone wish you dead in the place where they wish you dead is the place where we will enter to bring life so you cannot finish things by simply seeing the dream you got to change it that's what the bible says whatever is revealed is condemned so that's when when you see it you can condemn ah so this man saw a good dream he didn't say a bad dream He saw a good dream and he didn't wait for it. He confessed. You when good dream comes to you you hide it. Because you are scared. In the place that I'm living, the problem I'm facing and I can share this dream to people. People see me as a foolish. But ladies and gentlemen, dream says the truth of your destiny. Toto inakuonyesha kesho yako itakavyokuwa. Oh my god. 
Can I speak this better? Yes, sir. How you sit for a minute? Some of you, I, I believe everyone here, if you never dream, at least you dreamt once. And you saw yourself. If you never dream when you slept and you dreamt, at least you had the thoughts of a certain life that you want to live in life. Hey, oh my God, oh. Some of you, you saw even they are wedding you. You are getting wed and they are putting a ring and then when they are just doing, pa, you woke up. <laughs> and you saw bad messages on your phone. Two different lives in the future and in the present. What you need, you need a man who is a mediator to bring that dream into the physical. Are you seeing that? Yes, sir. 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 So Joseph was able to see the future through dreams. He believed so much his dream. So much. If you are a dreamer, that means you are called to live in the future. So he believed so much in his dream. And he went even to his enemy to proclaim about his dream. He said, I saw myself with my brothers. I saw myself with the moon, the sun, and the stars. Look at such prophetic dreams. Until even his own father doubted him, people of God. This is a message for you, I'm telling you. His own father doubted his own dream. But the Bible says his father kept the dream within him. There are some people that will pretend to doubt you, but they believe in you in the inside. There are some people that they cannot be on your side by now, but deeply within them, they believe that your destiny shall shine. But Jacob did not just believe suddenly. Though he was a prophet, but he could not believe suddenly. But it took time for something to take place. Yes, the Bible says, God sends a famine. I'm about to talk about your crisis. God sent famine. God sent crisis. It didn't come from a devil. It came from God. But <laughs> the Bible says God is able to do anything. That means He's also able to make you dry. He saw, and he said, I send the famine. People of God, in any disadvantage in your life, God always raise a person who will bring the advantage in your life. Can I say it better? Yes, sir. When things look so disadvantaged over your finances, God has mandated someone to bring advantage over your finances. Now, the place where people miss it is the place to locate the person who's supposed to bring the advantage in your finances. And weirdly, we end up fighting the most the person who's supposed to bring advantages over your disadvantages. Watch out, there is always something in a man where it fights always his helpers. And yet the people who are not doing anything in your life, you keep them like magnets. <laughs> Let there be deliverance today. I don't know who am I speaking I receive to. You are speaking to me, Papa. But the people who are supposed to help you always end up breaking and fighting or end up in any kind of problems. Ah, I see the lion face in here. Let deliverance come in the name of Jesus. Let deliverance come today in the name of Jesus. So here, Papa. God has chosen and mandated someone to bring a change over your situation, Jacob. And he's coming to announce to you that there will be change. That God has chosen me to change your situation. And yet there was something in them. What is it that standing you to fight the right people in your life? What is it in you that sent to jealous? 
Nini hii aona wivu? The right people who are supposed to take you out of your problem. Watu watakutoa katika shida yako. Kata hii mahaza. Africa. Africa. Why is it that we fight the people who are supposed to help us? Kwa nini tuwapiga watu wa Africa? We jealous the people who are supposed to help us. Tuonea wivu watu watakusaidia. We gossip the people who are supposed to help us. Tuwasengenya wale watakusaidia. And yet they are the one God mandated them. Na hawa ndiyo mungu wali wakati. To take you out of your wilderness. Toe katika ukame wako. Look at how the whole world is fighting men of God and yet God mandated the men of God in order to take the people to the promised place. There is always a seed in a man that fights what is good. But by the grace of God when the spirit of God shall touch you today any seed that against the right things in your life let it be broken. I say let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Say break. Say break. Say break. Say break. Say break. God has released someone to help you. Mungu ameachilia mtu akusaidie. Imagine if they could have believed in Joseph by then. Kama wangeamwamini Yusuf siku zile. I believe the miracle was supposed to start even then. Mujiza ungeatendeka siku hiyo. Your own father did not believe in you. Your brothers did not believe in you. Your sister did not believe in you. But the people who believed in you are totally strangers. Uh, listen, your helper are strangers. Wasaidizi wako ni wageni. Alright. My God. Alright. Where you are thinking help is coming. It is not the place. Your help is coming from the Lord. And the Lord has mandated totally strange people. Ah, can I prophesy? I receive. Can I prophesy? Prophesy, Papa. Strange people. Nation that you do not know. Cities that you have never set. Nation that you have never entered. God is raising people. God is bringing those people to come and bless your life. To come and connect you. To come and bless you. I receive it. You know what is happening today? God is restoring things in the life of people today. Miracle is taking place just as I'm speaking here. Listen, they might deny you access. They deny you for a reason. In order to push you for strangers. In order to push you to strangers. They did not understand that it's not the brothers. It's not the sisters. But it is the stranger that shall welcome the gift of God. Why strangers? Because even Jesus, he was not accepted by his own. He was supposed to be taken by strangers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says when they refuse you here, go to another place. When they refuse you another place, go to another place. There is a place you will be accepted. There is a place you will be welcome. There is a place you will be honored. Yes, sir. I remember in 2005, 15, I was in prayer and the Lord sent an angel and he said the Lord sent to me to tell you, never go, never enter, never accept any place where you are tolerated. Never go in a place where you are tolerated. And he said to me, go in a place where you are honored. From that day, I I stop going to people's houses. I start choosing the right place to go. I start choosing the right people to walk with. I start choosing the right people to call. I want people who honor that which God has placed in my life. And I declare over your life. May God connect you. 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 Hey. Mantaya lakos katomaya. Give him praise. Some of you, you went to job. Asking for a particular job. You have done the interview. Look at you with all your degrees. 
until it has gone to the level of electricity. You have gotten all your masters. You have studied for almost 30 years. And then you are seated here. Just someone with his leg like this. And telling you, hi sir, how are you? Uh, you your suit in him in shirts. You and your suit and him in his shorts. And slippers. Favor. Favor. Kibali. Has no education. Kiba Kibali and you, you have gone to all the school. You have studied with all the money. You even sold lands in order to study. And this man has not even sold anything. Simply the favor of God positioned him. Injustice is over. I say injustice is over. Injustice is over. You are going to benefit of the works of your hands. I declare you are going to benefit of the works of your hands. Ah. This man, this man, this man, had nothing. But he simply had a dream. Listen. Skiza. Let anybody crush anything. Watch and let them nataka. never crush your dream. Allow anybody to, to do or to take your mind or to take whatever or to, what? but let them Ooh. never oppress what you believe. The day you encounter someone doubting your dream, look at that person in the eyes and say you can never conquer. Wa, you see it coming shida. to pass. Utaona the moment you allow someone to look down at your dream, then you can develop and low self-esteem. You can no longer believe on yourself. But you need someone who can honor that which you have gotten. Can I speak? Uh, speak, Papa. Can I speak something here? Yes, sir. The Bible said, like David, and this brother, they could not see what was in David. They had. They had. David kill a lion. They had. David kill a bear. But they did not honor him. They saw it as a normal thing. Listen, there are some testimonies eh, where it cannot be celebrated among the people who are familiar with you. I tell you, go to some people who have never met you. And they see the kind of miracle God is doing with you. May God shift you. I pray may God to shift you. I receive it. To the right place. I receive Where you shall be honored. I take it. Hey. I shift. Imagine in the company only one person. To murder to die doing everything. Even the boss depend on the intelligence of that woman. So the company is not run by the boss but is run by that small girl. Or that small boy. And yet he's paid peanuts. That's an injustice. That's an injustice. Hmm? You are in a business deal. You have spent all your credit. All your flow well. In order to finish this deal, in the end, end, someone has took your deal. That's an injustice. That is an injustice. Let the favor of God come on you today. Let the favor of God come on you today. I receive the favor of God. Let the favor of God come on you today. <laughs>